So here's me um, update on my smoke box. I've uh, done the table underneath so I can put me meat trays or food trays here, whatever I'm going to smoke. And um, I can open up the latch. And I haven't finished it. I don't have to, but I'm going to put an external smoker in there as well. But I can have um, an internal one. Like, um, and I just put a start, uh, couple of fire bricks in the bottom, sit it on there um, with a tray underneath to catch any, well, there shouldn't be any ambers at falling, but anyway, um, like one of those uh, amazing or one of those uh, stick like um, smokers for wood chips and that, we can sit them straight in here and they won't burn the wood because they won't come in contact with that. I've got big. Uh, huge paver things outside and I can put a couple of fire bricks down I can put some aluminium foil around the bottom any of that sort of thing will stop anything now I've uh, used linseed oil and uh, terps to dress the outside just to make it a bit weatherproof um, I haven't put don't put anything inside whatsoever um, some people say ah oh, one carpenter told me that um, plywood, you know, it's got like poisonous resins and stuff. Look, the um, the idea of using uh, timber is, you know, it's not going to get into the wood. There's no, I mean, into the meat. There's or smoked goods, whatever you're doing, you're not going to get the flavour of the timber in there. None of it's going to go in there. Anyway, the resin's in the middle of the ply, so it's irrelevant. Um, Sure, I've got a hole up here sort of thing. I can just fill that in if I like. But I'm not worried about it. I'm honestly not worried about it. I'm not going to poison anyone. Um, uh, what else can I say? Yeah, and I'm going to pre-season it. So I'm going to run smoke through it a number of times, which will give a, you know, uh, some sort of surface over the top. You know, I, I could go and rub like animal fat and all that stuff into it. Um, the inside or use uh, cooking oil um, to dress the inside like uh, a vegetable oil or something I might do that I'm not sure yet but anyway um, I'm, I think I might leave it raw that's what I'm going to do I'm pretty sure about that so I've got to make a couple of racks up here they're going to be steel racks with um, a lattice sort of uh, uh, mesh on them uh, where I can lay down goods that um, are not going to hang and then I've got um, these sticking out here so I can put uh, I guess some uh, broomstick like Dow heavy broomstick stuff or I'll get some steel rods and I'll put them across and I'm not going to secure them I could make little blocks and things like that and you could rest them up if you really wanted to get fancy and stuff but there's really no, it's not necessary, it's extra work for nothing and I'll be able to move me rods where I want them in position for whatever I'm hanging, I might have a ham over here and a couple of sausages over here, you know I don't really know, I might have a couple, two or three hams in here it will fit two or three hams, it's uh, two and a half foot deep I think or a bit over two foot deep, two foot wide and it's uh it's uh, four foot high. Um, no, it's uh, yeah, four foot, roughly four foot high. Well, 1200 mil high, so roughly four foot. So, there you go, folks. Uh, that's that's what I've got here. This is what I've been doing. I've pretty much acquired all the timber for nothing except for I've paid for the ploy and I've paid for the hardware, the latches, and um, the hinges, the two, like, they're small gate hinges, you can tell by my hand, the size of my hand. Um, and if I want, I can put a bolt lock up here and a bolt lock down here if I get a lot of bowing. Yeah, see, I had to just, I'll just do that again. See, the bottom sort of sticks out here. You give it a tap. I'm not worried about doing that. Um, I do have it these all around here sort of seal most you know there's a little gap here that's why I've got to slide my um, trays in through there so I had to cut those out a bit 
<coughs> did it after the fact instead of before, but anyway, doesn't matter. It's going to be effective, so I'll have an uh, external firebox um, made out that'll come in towards the bottom of it. Um, I'll put a, a little um, adjustable uh, slide on a chimney up the top. Um, I've got some stainless stuff and copper and all that to, you know, dress it all up like that, do all that, and uh, yeah, she'll be a bloody, she'll be a good one, I reckon. So, anyway, conveniently, right next to Zeus. I think he's he's over there in the yard, dreaming about it all. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> I don't know. It's probably not the best place to have it, but you know, look, it's under somewhat shelter. That's not going to be affected by the smoke. We get a bit of a breezeway through here, so that'll be all right. And um, it's not inside, which is a really good thing. I can't have it inside. It's, you know, that wouldn't. That's not even an option. Um, but yeah, it's not bad. Okay, thanks, folks. See you later.